past is important, to look back, reflect, to honor the people that have gone before us, who have built something that will stand testament to the goodness of God. It's the stories of the past that leave a romantic melody lingering in the air, remembering the triumphs and forgetting the heartaches that inevitably came with sacrifice. We have stood guardian of the stories, the treasures left behind of a great time now gone. And I have loved with deep affection the remnants of a time the world knows so well. Yes, we have worked tirelessly to keep the memories alive and to keep them as true as can be. I have been moved and in turn people moved by such spectacular talents. I have found much joy and glory in the buildings that once held the weight of God's presence and reveled in the glory of days of old. But now my honor is complete. It's done and it is well with my soul for it is the now that I must pick up. So I'm leaving the past where it should stay. I am laying down the reminiscing of a time. I did not live. I'm breathing in the air of a new day that awaits. I have to close the door to a museum of dead things and open the door to a breathing place of life. Today is the day the Lord has made. I must live in it and live today's stories. In the now, there are spectacular stories to tell. In the now, there is a great move of God bursting forth. In the now, the people are getting excited in worship before the Father. In the now, there is a deep awakening. In the now, there is singing, dancing, and victory in the house of the Lord. The time is now.